So I've got to be aware of my environment because I'm in a public area accessing for uh, Wi-Fi. Um, but I did see Rebecca Hall's passing. Um, she's a great actress. She's been in many films like Frost Nixon, Christine, uh, Night House, Vicky Christine of Barcelona. I mean, she's very gorgeous, very attractive. And there's no mistake in that. So I had to see what this was all about. Plus the story itself, to some degree, um, I can relate to as a way, in a way as an ethnically mixed person myself. But I don't like talking about that for too many people because of people's racism. But um, I've said what I had to say. Essentially it's the story based on a novel that was from uh, the late 1920s about um, two ethnically, well, how do I put it, light skin, uh, an African American woman, one of them um, tries to pass for white and one of them not so much and then she sees the sort of environment that she goes in and she has these privilege, privileges and what not simply because she identifies as white but also she has a lot of insecurities because of that madam tries to cover up a lot of the secrets that are with inside her to her husband and to certain elements of society but when she is with the um, black culture and she meets through Tessa Thompson's character uh, the one passing for is Ruth Nager, who is an Irish actress who uh, is a preacher of the Seth Rogen produced comedy horror series. Um, what leads is eventually into the multiple discussions about identity and um, the role of society and what a woman should do and what they shouldn't. It's a very sort of heavy film and it ends on a fairly bleak note. But unfortunately, this is a reflection of a time that he probably is even still in this existence this day. Where if you are something that you shouldn't be, because the society and the rules that are in play are against you, it could very well mean your death, or your career cost, or everything taken away from you, because you're not who you are. I think that's the most frightening part about it. Now, we live in a generation where sometimes it feels like, oh, everything's so multicultural, everything is so progressive-minded. Uh, no, we don't see race. Yes, you do. Stop lying yourself about that. Um, I wish I, you know, I can't say it too loudly because I might, I might get in a bit of a fisty fight with someone, which I really don't want. I don't want to have to spend a night in jail or prison for something ridiculous like that. But um, overall, it deals with a lot of heavy and important topics that need to be said. I'm actually glad this film does exist, but at the same time. There are some pacing issues, and at times it's not entirely sure which direction it wants to go. But it's always there that you know feeling of oh, oh someone's gonna know, someone's gonna be aware of shit hitting the fan. And I think that's definitely a conversation start for people who are learning about this period of history that is still in, in existence, but um, you know, not as overtly. Um, those with uh, lighter complexions don't you have the better than darker complexions don't matter what colour you are this is especially true for people of black or African diaspora and that's the, um, that's upsetting about it. so I thank you Rebecca Hall for making this film um, I'll definitely show it to some people but um, you might test their patience is all I'll say um, I think if they tie up the pacing this would have been a top 10 contender but nonetheless um, Thanks. Skinny, but signing off. Until next time, keep on watching.